We will now start the regular press conference for Foreign Minister Kanikawa. Minister, please. Now, as my first visit as a foreign minister, I will be visiting New York from the 18th of September to the 22nd. The UN General Assembly will open, and there will be leaders and ministers from all over the world. I would like to take this opportunity of the high-level week to take part in the G7 Foreign Ministers' Meeting, G4 Foreign Ministers' Meeting on UNSC reform, and the Summit of the Future Preparatory Ministries Meeting, Women, Peace, Security, Focal Point, Network, High-Level Side Events. I will be taking part in these various events. I would also like to meet with foreign ministers of other countries, such as the United States, Australia, and Indonesia. Now, against the backdrop of Russia's aggression in Ukraine and shaking the international order, we are at a historical turning point today. This year, as the UNSC member, as well as the G7 presidency, uh, we uh, will be conveying a strong message uh, on the rule of law, the importance of UN as its core, uh, and uh, the enhancement of uh, functions of the UN, including UNSC. I intend to engage in uh, steadfast uh, uh, discussions on WPS as well, uh, the Women, Peace and Security. Against this backdrop, uh, I intend to communicate uh, uh, on the urgent challenges facing uh, the emerging nations as well as uh, vulnerable uh, countries fr uh, from Japan's unique position uh, in terms of initiatives as well as contribution. Uh, regarding uh, the international situation and international society, I'll be uh, um, uh, confirming the close cooperation with other nations. In response to the intense damage caused by the earthquake which occurred in the central part of Morocco, today we have decided to provide emergency humanitarian assistance worth $3 million to support those who have been affected by the earthquake. To be specific, through the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, or IFRC, we will implement emergency grant aid was $2 million as supporting activities in light of the needs on the grounds, including for temporary evacuation facilities and food. Also, Japanese NGOs will provide $1 million of support through Japan Platform or JPF. Also, responding to the intense damage caused by the floods which took place in the eastern part of Libya, today we have also decided that emergency support supplies such as tents and blankets, will be delivered to Libya through JICA. Also, since our food support supplies have just arrived in the country through the World Food Programme, part of them was $700,000 approximately will be provided to those affected by the floods. The government of Japan will continue to support people in Morocco and Libya and consider necessary support based upon the needs on the ground. During the cabinet meeting, a decision was made for signing and promulgation of the Japan-UK Reciprocal Access Agreement to RAA. We hope uh, this agreement uh, will lead to a further active security and uh, defense cooperation between the UK and Japan, facilitating uh, UK and Japanese uh, vessels to call on each other's port and engage in joint exercises. We hope to further strengthen uh, security and defense cooperation uh, between uh, Japan and UK as uh, the closest security partners for each other in Asia and uh, Europe. And together with the UK, we will further strengthen initiatives to realize a free and open Indo-Pacific. That is all from me.
Uh, we will now like to take the first question. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Come to the microphone, state your name and affiliation, and uh, ask your question. Kyoto uh, Press, where the sound, please. Uh, this is Ueda of uh, Kyoto Press. Uh, regarding the New York visit, uh, I have the following question. Uh, Russia's aggression into Ukraine uh, means uh, that G7's role is becoming uh, more important uh, in the relations with China. Uh, there are uh, diplomatic uh, uh, issues besetting Japan. Uh, what are you going to communicate? But as I stated in my opening remarks, uh, now we are at a history uh, turning point. And Japan takes uh, important roles, responsible roles, to lead the international community, such as the G7 presidency as well as a UNSC member. This time around, I will be attending the UN General Assembly, and this will be my very first overseas visit after I assume the post of a foreign minister. I shall thoroughly prepare myself for this occasion. I will demonstrate the presence of Japan on this uh, big stage the UN, and I'd like to build trusting relations with counterparts all over the world. Regarding the G4 foreign ministers' meeting on the reform of uh, UNSC, I will be attending uh, this uh, meeting and sort of discussions in this uh, forum and uh, so on. I would like to deliver a powerful message about the strengthening of the function of the UN, including the reform of UNSC, as well as the importance of the UN, which is taking a central role in the rule of law. Aside from the reform of UNSC, I would like to confirm a close cooperation with the countries about the challenges of the international community, as well as international situations, including Ukraine. Thank you. The next question, please. Kawaguchi san of Mainichi Shimbun newspaper, please. Kawaguchi of Mainichi Shimbun newspaper about your foreign visits. At the UN this time around, are you planning to meet with uh, Ukrainian dignitaries? Also, at the multilateral uh, fora of the UN, what sort of uh, efforts would you like to make uh, with other countries about supporting Ukraine? At the UN uh, General Assembly, uh, regarding uh, meeting uh, with the Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine uh, counterpart has not been decided uh, at this point in time. Uh, the aggression by uh, Russia into Ukraine uh, is uh, um, shaking uh, the foundation of international order, uh, which has been established by efforts uh, of the international society with uh, uh, a significant sacrifice. The aggression still continues uh, today. Um, we hope uh, that uh, we can uh, stop uh, the aggression of uh, Russia quickly as possible, and by so uh, we will continue sanctions against Russia as well as continue support for Ukraine. And uh, at the UN uh, forum, uh, we would like to lead the discussions for the international uh, society. Yomirisa, Yodasan, please. Yes, at the G7, you mentioned at the beginning uh, on this matter, and uh, uh, you have uh, become a foreign minister uh, while we have the uh, G7 presidency. Uh, do you think this is going to have an impact on Japan's diplomacy? Including my predecessor, Minister Hayashi, my predecessors have uh, delivered the results of Japanese uh, diplomacy, and I'd like to succeed them, and would like to tackle important challenges, doing my utmost, especially as a G7 presidency. In April, there was a foreign minister's meeting in Kadoizawa, Nagano Prefecture, as well as Hiroshima summit took place back in May. And then the results were delivered based upon uh, such uh, results. I'd like to strengthen the the solidarity of the G7 to deliver further outcomes. Next uh, week in New York, G7 foreign ministers uh, meeting is uh, planned. And as this year's G7 presidency, Japan, including uh, myself, uh, would like to respond uh, to immediate challenges by the faced by the international community, such as the Ukraine situation and in the Pacific region and lead G7 discussions. Thank you. The next question, please. Any case in the newspaper, Nimoto san, please. Uh, Nimoto. 
あの、京都コングレス。根本オブニケーション文、ニュースペーパー、you Yes, uh, indeed, uh, regarding the activities that I've been involved in the past, I thank you for the question. And also uh, regarding the themes I would like to communicate, uh, thank you very much uh, for asking uh, the question. As you have rightly mentioned, uh, when I was uh, Minister of Justice, uh, from at the third time, I was at the minister uh, in the March of 2021. I have uh, served as the chair for the Kyoto Congress, uh, which is a, a significant uh, responsibility. Uh, it uh, was uh, a judicial diplomacy uh, that uh, was uh, uh, promoted uh, uh, in order to emphasize uh, the rule of law and international cooperation. Uh, this was a uh, by in promoting uh, this uh, responsibility i we were able to receive a commitment a strong commitment uh, for the rule of law as well as international uh, cooperation uh, therefore uh, we will continue to uh, fulfill the role of japan uh, taking into consideration uh, the results of the kyoto congress uh, in promoting rule of law as a uh, diet member, I have been, been involved in various activities. Uh, for example, LDP, SDG, uh, Diplomacy, uh, Parliamentary League uh, was launched uh, by m myself. And uh, also, uh, I was the uh, chair of the Arctic Parliamentary League. Uh, therefore, the Arctic region, which is a symbol of uh, SDG, uh, is promotion. Uh, is an area that uh, I was involved in and taking into uh, bringing to bear the science and technology t uh, capabilities of Japan. Uh, these are some of the activities that I've been involved in. I I hope that uh, this experience will be useful as uh, I serve as the uh, foreign minister going forward. Uh, yesterday, I mentioned uh, in my inaugural uh, press conference, uh, there are areas that I would like to focus on, protect Japan's national interest and enhance Japan's presence, and also listen to the people's voice uh, of our nation uh, to uh, receive uh, understanding and uh, receive support. Uh, these are the three uh, focal points to me. Uh, that is how I would like to serve as the foreign minister. Next question, please. Uh, Niigata Nippo, please. Niigata Nippo, uh, his name is Saito. Uh, regarding the uh, Sado uh, gold mines, uh, in the end of uh, uh, October, uh, August, uh, ICMOS uh, uh, side uh, investigation uh, has been completed, but there is opposition from the ROK. Uh, in order to have uh, this registered, uh, you need to solicit understanding of uh, uh, ROK and others. Uh, what is the view of the foreign ministry? Uh, from the 24th of August through the 30th over the course of uh, seven days, I understand that ICOMOS made a site visit or field survey regarding a Sado gold mine recommended by Japan as a World Heritage Site. Japan would like to continue thorough discussions with relevant countries, including the ROK, so that a Sado gold mine's value as cultural asset or heritage will be appreciated towards the registration as world heritage. The next question, please. Indonesia Tribune News, Sushiro-san, please. Indonesia Reporter Tribune News, Sushiro is my name. My name is similar to Sushiro, which is a conveyor sushi a belt chain. I hope you could remember my name. Up to this point regarding the treated water from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, there has been some 
disinformation are spreading. To reduce such a disinformation, sooner rather than later, are you going to leverage uh, digital organizations and so on, so that the issue of uh, Fukushima obstetrical water awareness uh, can be promoted? Do you think this is uh, possible? Every day I receive questions from Indonesia and so on. Is Fukushima all right? I believe that this is um, a very challenging uh, issue. So I'd like to hear your uh, view as well as your idea about countermeasures, please. Regarding uh, false information dissemination, uh, it uh, undermines uh, the reconstruction of the affected areas, uh, and it is heartbreaking uh, for the people in the affected areas. Uh, and uh, freedom, as well as uh, democracy and universal values, uh, uh, will be undermined uh, by uh, such a false information. On the part of uh, our foreign ministry, uh, explanation based on scientific uh, knowledge uh, must be uh, provided in an appropriate manner and to continue to communicate uh, this. Uh, that is how we have been dealing with this matter. On the part of our country uh, for the Alps uh, treated water, uh, we will continue to take into consideration the result of the IAEA uh, report uh, based on scientific uh, evidence and with high uh, transparency, uh, the Japan's efforts uh, will be explained fully uh, to the international community so that uh, understanding can be obtained. Uh, specifically, um, there are so-called media of the overseas. Uh, when such uh, false information is uh, conveyed, we will refute uh, that such uh, reporting immediately. Uh, we will also utilize SNS, or social media, uh, to strengthen our communication. For example, hashtag let the science talk uh, will be utilized. Uh, this is a series uh, that uh, we are utilizing uh, to counter misinformation and false information uh, so that uh, uh, information can be provided based on scientific evidence, not only in Japanese language, but also in English, Chinese, as well as Korean uh, in, and other languages. We will continue to make steadfast efforts uh, uh, in dealing with this matter. Next, uh, Kyodo Press, uh, with us on, please. This is Weda. Uh, I have a follow-up question uh, regarding Fukushima uh, Daiichi nuclear power plant. Uh, uh, discharge of uh, uh, the uh, treated water seems that uh, uh, China's uh, uh, red, uh, narrative uh, is uh, more low-toned. Uh, are you going to communicate uh, at the uh, UN uh, General Assembly meetings? As the government of Japan. At the UN, I would like to refrain from making speculations as to what sort of communications we are going to have at the UN at this point in time. But so far, regarding the hope treated waters discharge into the sea and the safety thereof at the international conferences, we have been thoroughly explaining Japan's efforts, including my business trip this time around. I'd like to leverage all sorts of opportunities to strengthen the efforts more. The next question, please. Asahi Shimbu newspaper, Matsuyama-san, please. Matsuyama of Asahi Shimbu newspaper on a different uh, topic. And just now about the cabinet reshuffle, state ministers and parliamentary vice ministers appointments uh, were announced. So no woman has been appointed in these uh, positions this time around. Last time it was uh, four and seven, so in total 11. So there's been a some regrets. So you are um, a woman member, and you were promoted. So in the gender gap index, Japan is lagging behind. So regarding these appointments about state ministers and parliamentary vice ministers, do you think it was appropriate? Now, as uh, mentioned by Prime Minister Kishida um, the other day, um, the decisions on t terms of personal matters uh, should be based on the right person in the right position. Against this backdrop, I would like to say uh, that uh, on my part, uh, as uh, a woman minister, uh, I have uh, taken on this uh, very important role of uh, foreign minister. 
Uh, therefore, I hope uh, that uh, our diplomacy can be pursued uh, uh, in meeting these expectations. Any other questions? Uh, Sankei Shimbun Haraka-san. This is Haraka of Sankei Shimbun. You mentioned uh, today regarding the Ukraine situation, uh, G7, as a G7 um, presidency, uh, we have to uh, lead uh, the discussions in an um, active manner. In that regard, I would like to ask the following question. As the G7 presidency, as a foreign minister, um, Foreign Minister um, Hayashi has visited uh, Ukraine re very recently. Do you also intend to visit uh, Ukraine uh, to meet uh, with your counterparts uh, in the government uh, in Ukraine? Uh, do you have such intentions? In regards to the support for a Ukrainian people, actually at the end of last year, I worked on the wintering support initiative at Japan. I launched this initiative to send generators to Ukrainian people, and I was a representative of the voluntary parliamentary and the group, so I recognized the importance of support to Ukraine very much. Personally speaking, Japan has been providing support to Ukraine, including in the areas of humanitarian assistance, public finance, food recovery and reconstruction, worth $7.6 billion. And we have announced this and have been implementing such support. We'd like to demonstrate leadership as the G7 presidency this year. We'd like to continue to closely work with the international community while grasping the needs of Ukraine appropriately and by leveraging Japan's knowledge and experience. And we'd like to support Ukrainian people who are faced with difficulties, and we'd like to provide meticulous support in a seamless manner that is unique to Japan. You just asked about my future business trips. I would like to consider my business trips in considering the diplomatic activities of myself comprehensively. Do you have any preferences? Of course, there are all sorts of diplomatic events waiting for you. What's your own idea? Uh, on my part, uh, I want to listen to the voice on the ground and uh, understand the needs uh, that is prevailing in the appropriate manner. Uh, that uh, is my stance. Um, Therefore, uh, in the international community today, uh, there are many urgent uh, challenges presenting us. Uh, therefore, uh, one by one, uh, it isn't as if I can uh, give you an emphasis, but uh, we do believe that uh, this is very important, uh, the voice on the ground uh, to be listened to and, and to uh, provide the appropriate support uh, is required action uh, will be required. This is my stance. I believe this is a very important manner. Are there any other questions? Uh, there seem not, so I would like to bring this uh, uh, press conference to a close. Thank you.